Welcome to the tutorial on registering as a new user. Before you can use GAO's electronic protest docketing system, also known as EPDS, you must be a registered user. When using EPDS, we recommend that you use Google Chrome, Firefox, Safari, or Microsoft Edge, as EPDS performs best when using these web browsers. We do not recommend using Internet Explorer. So, let's get started. To register as a user, type the URL https colon forward slash forward slash epds dot gao dot gov in the address bar of your web browser. The EPDS sign-in page appears. Since this is your first time using EPDS, click the register as a new user button. The please select account type dialog box appears. By default, the protester intervener option is selected. When you click the down arrow, you also have the option to register as an agency representative. If you register as an agency representative, your email must be from a .gov or .mil domain. Once you complete the registration process and log into EPDS for the first time, you need to create a new password and respond to three security questions. If you are registering as a protester intervener, you only need to create a new password. For this demo, we will register as a protester intervener. Then, click OK. The register as a protester intervener representative form appears. The form for agency representative would have appeared if you had selected agency representative for the account type. Scroll down the screen. Complete all of the fields on the form, starting with your email address. Note that when you complete a required field, a green check mark appears next to it. Use these check marks to ensure you have completed all of the required fields before submitting your form. Let's continue completing the form by typing in the first and last name fields. Now, type the name of the company or firm you represent. Type your company or firm's phone number. Scroll down the screen. Complete the business address section. As you type in the address field, EPDS begins filtering the list. Locate and select the business address from the list, and the remainder of the address fields automatically populate. Confirm that all of the information in the address section is correct. The next step is to click the checkbox next to the agreement to abide by GAO's bid protest regulations and EPDS instructions. Click the Here link if you have not reviewed this information. For this demo, we will click the checkbox. Now. Click the Register button. The Rules of Behavior agreement appears. Read the agreement, then scroll down the screen. Click the I Agree button at the bottom of the agreement. The Success dialog box appears to confirm a successful registration. If your registration was not successful, a notification appears alerting you of the fields that need correcting. Once you've made the necessary corrections on the form, click the Register button again. Since our registration was successful, we will click OK in the Success dialog box. An email is sent to the email address you registered on the form. The email from EPDS contains a temporary password that you will use during your initial logon to the system. Once you log on, you will be prompted to create a new password. The criteria for your new password are included in the email. Click the link in the email to log back into EPDS and to reset your password. The EPDS sign-in page reappears. Log in to EPDS using your registered email address. And the temporary password you receive from the EPDS email. To ensure you enter your temporary password correctly, we recommend that you copy from the email and paste it into the password field. Now, click the Sign Me In button. The Password Reset dialog box appears, letting you know that you are accessing EPDS for the first time and that you need to update your password. Click the OK button to begin resetting your password. The Please Update Your Password dialog box appears, prompting you to enter a new password. Type your new password in the New Password field. When typing, be sure to follow the password guidelines listed. Then, retype your new password in the Confirm Password field. Then, click the Update Info button. The Welcome to EPDS dialog box appears, confirming that you have successfully updated your information. Click OK. You are now logged in to EPDS and the dashboard appears. When you're finished working in EPDS and you wish to log out of the system,
click the down arrow next to your name, and click Log Out. This concludes the tutorial on registering as a new user in the Electronic Protest Docketing System. To learn more about using EPDS, check out the other tutorials in the Bid Protest section of our website at www.gao.gov.